I'm Sam, I'm the local rep for Refrigeration Technologies. Uh, overall, the general concept with Refrigeration Technologies is we want to make stuff that is safe for the equipment, safe for the techs, and safe for the environment. Yeah. So the only corrosive product that we have on the table right now is our brightener. Okay. Um, our brightener, everyone else's brightener, has to be heavily alkaline yeah. in order to etch that aluminum. Um, but we generally try to steer people away from it just because longevity of the equipment, yeah. safety for their techs, liability, things like that. There is uh, a situations when you need it, yeah. and when you need it, you gotta have it. Yeah, if, so, if it's a you know yeah. restaurant, super greasy, or yeah. if you need to etch a coil to put a coating on, something like that, that's the reason we still carry it. Yeah. Um, we can't fully eliminate it, um, but we just wanna make sure that everybody's safe when they're using it. Exactly. Um, that's why with the condenser cleaner and the evaporator cleaner, both of these are non-corrosive. Yep. Um, so these are our venom packs, highly concentrated, so each of these can make up to about nine gallons. We recommend them if you're gonna, gonna be using a foam gun, if you're out there in the field with hose, um, and then you're gonna have to pre-mix them if you're gonna use a pump spray or something more like that. As we go down the line, the one of the most popular things we have is Nylog. That's right. Um, so this is kind of a, the easy intro into refrigeration technologies if I have to talk to somebody about it. They're already familiar yeah. with this, so it's... If you don't have Nylog, you're not even a tech. That's just yeah, the way it goes. Exactly. So. Um, you, so you want to see it? That really helps prevent any flare leaks. I put this on my pancakes in the morning, so that's how good it that's is. That's an option. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't do that. <laughs> uh, another big one is Big Blue. Um, mm -hmm. So we have the regular and the Sub-Zero. Obviously, we're in Florida right now. Not a lot of the guys are using Sub-Zero, but mm -hmm. if you're in you know, a walk-in or a freezer or cold storage, it's common. And then for our friends up north where their trucks get to negative five degrees wow this won't solidify on them so they can still actually you know wow, detect that's with it. that's cool i didn't yeah. even know about that yeah for a boy here yeah same. <laughs> so we wow. sell a lot of this down here we sell this up yeah and then we've got the heat block or sorry the heat shield nice um and so we've got a little demo for the heat shield just to show you how much heat it can take uh it is reversible both sides are heat proof uh can you see it you can use it wet or dry. Yeah. Um, if you're using it a lot, I recommend just dipping a little bit of water yeah. in it to just try Why to not? you know, preserve the product. Mm -hmm. And we got a little aluminum disc here that we use for the demo. Yeah. So just for reference, as you can see, my hand's not burning. I'm not superhuman or anything crazy. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't want to find out. So we got a little bit of liquid going on there now. There it is. So. Melted the aluminum. Yeah. And it's a little bit hot on the top next to it, but if you want to put your hand underneath, it's, you know, warm. Yeah. 